Wake that ass up. LA's number one hip hop morning show is Nick Cannon Mornings on Power 106. Nick Cannon Radio. Oh, man, it's time for a close conversation, a quarantine check-in. And this young dude, man, you know we only have conversations with real ones. Uh, cats that are fixtures in the game, doing big things. And this man is all the above and so much more. My family, we going to chop What's it up. up we going to clear some things up. It's my man G Herbo. What's popping, What's my good? guy? What's up, bro? How you feeling, man? Man, I'm good, man. First of all, we got to do this check-in. It's a lot going on in the world right now. How's the family? How are you? You know, quarantine in the midst of everything. Everything straight? Appreciate that. Yeah, everybody good, man. I've been chilling, man. Just in the house. I got my son out here, so that's been great. we just been cool. Who is adorable. We see him on social media, man. Keep doing that. Being an amazing father. Good dad gang Uh, all day. And we see... Uh, uh, as you probably like many of us, man, you you look like you finally out in it. You I see you out there in the Lambo right now. You ain't yeah, you ain't yeah, in the yeah, house. Man. Nah, I actually, I ain't gonna lie. I be going out like for certain little shit. I might go out to the studio for like an hour or two, stuff like certain stuff like that. I ain't gonna lie. I be sometimes looking for a reason to get out the crib. So I really just pull the whip out just to call and make sure I ain't waking nobody up in the house. Oh man, that's love right there. I, he's stunting on us with the with the lime green Lambo. I see how I, I, I see how you doing. And speaking of stunting, man, congratulations. PTSD Deluxe is out right now as we speak. Yeah. And yeah, man. the single with you, Chance the Rapper Juice World, Lil Uzi is already certified gold. And you just continuing to do it, man. It debuted top ten Billboard. So man, yeah. how does it feel, man, to be a cat, a real one, uh, as you say, like straight from the mud to be one of the biggest rap stars? in the game right now uh i mean it feel great bro i'm in a real good space this is my life career everything but I, my my main focus really just be to stay humble stay grounded man and just you know stay focused and i know you can contest to it when you do things you always want to reach new heights you can't really live in moments of success and i know you can contest to that because you you reach uh, multiple you. heights <laughs> this was like I just be trying to not live in moments, bro, and just stay sharp for real, bro. Like, I work so hard. It's like, I feel like my hard work finally paying off, so I just be trying to keep it up. Yeah, and speaking of stay sharp, man, we, you one of the young brothers I truly got to come in because I've known you for a while, and it's yeah. it, you – you super intelligent, just to say, like, you, you're you one of them street intellectuals, man. Like, you you ain't get here by mistake, man. I, I love the way you carry yourself, but and, and you never try to put on for nothing. You you rep the shy the way you rep the shy. You're doing some amazing yeah. things in the community from revamping uh, the the high school to doing things for the for, – for our – for our guys in Cook County, you know what I mean? Sending them to mass during uh, the Corona, man. Like, what makes G Herbo say, look, I'm not just going to be your typical rapper. I'm going to actually, one, yeah. show my intellect, and then, two, actually put on for my for my community. Yeah, I could. I mean, I ain't going to lie. I couldn't wait to have this conversation with you, bro, for real. But, man, I, I think it's because I'm probably so connected to poverty. You know, I'm so connected to the struggle or to the streets and the people that's in it. I, I could relate in a way where as to um I, I think I get my most peace, bro, in life when everybody around me, everybody close to me is in a good space. So I think it's a, it's more important to me than rap yeah. to just make sure my people good, bro. You feel me? Like I, I got from even with what I did for Cook County, one of my close friends in the county, he got diagnosed with coronavirus. We directly affected by a lot of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And people don't even realize it, you know? So even with having success and being a rapper, bro, I'm so... Is it, yeah, 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 there we go. I got you, I got you. My I'm man. I'm so connected to, like, the streets and everything that's going on. I, I feel the need to do so. Like, that's why we got a school. I don't know if you know, me and my partners, we bought a school on the south side of Chicago, one of the 50 CPS schools that got shut down. Wow. And we opened it and turning that to a multimedia facility, a business incubator. We trying to do real stuff for the city, bro, so man. we can just... Make sure these kids is safe and out the way and got opportunity for one, you know, because a lot of times that opportunity was taken from us when we was kids. And that's when I started to lose my homies and yeah. we started getting killed in the streets because we ain't really have much to do. Man, that's so powerful, man. I'm glad you shared that. And I mean, I, I've known about about your, your history and, and everything, but a lot of people don't get to see that side. And the fact, like to say, yo, somebody who came from it 
went and bought a public high school in the community. And yeah. as we know, I mean, we, we, we've joked in the past and everything, but to Chicago ain't no joke. There's nothing about it. Yeah. I, I've, I've been there. I do a lot of community work there, you know, uh, for, for quite some time. No, nah, for everybody that, for the record, I ain't gonna lie, bro, you do a lot for Chicago like you from there. I ain't gonna I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, That don't go unnoticed. Like, the city fuck with you, bro, like. Nah, heavy. That's love. And I only say that because both of us had like have gone to Cook County uh, and, yeah. and, and and been in there and, and our guys are in there. And you know, I, as we say in Chicago, free the guys all day. Yeah. And that and free that guys. and that, that's a real conversation because as we're dealing with what we're dealing with with the protests and the civil unrest and, and everything from our, our injustice system that, that we have going on when they know real fixtures like yourself in the community are building our own and building one, put money into the hood. One one, making sure uh, our, our our youth are taken care of and the education system, man. So I commend all of that and and Thanks, keep going. That's all I can say. And to, and it's funny, man, because we having this conversation and people know that we fuck with each other heavy. Yeah. But a lot, like something happened just recently where yeah. I knew what it was off top. Like, yeah. I, I guess <laughs> it went over a bunch of other people's head. It went head. over everybody's head, bro. <laughs> it didn't go over my head, but I guess because you were talking to me, you posted, yeah. uh, and, and again, you, the, the, your, your man, uh, well, not your man, the guy, yeah. who, the super troll of hip-hop <laughs> <laughs> who, who has been known for so many things, was talking his talk, yeah. and you stepped up and spoke like a real one, and you called Takashi 6 9 and you said, yo, you really fr- from it and he paid to be cool you nick yeah. cannon so yeah. everybody i was like people were like man he grbo shooting at you what's going on you got beat i was like nah are you i could <laughs> I, I couldn't wait to clear it, bro because i ain't gonna lie that's one of my favorite movies like <laughs> of all time to, right. to, to say that first appreciate you so automatically when i said it i'm thinking everybody gonna get it regardless because yeah. that's the point of the movie yeah. In the movie, you paid to be cool. So yeah, like, love bro, don't cost a thing. I paid and, to be cool. And, 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 and hip-hop in this culture, that's a automatic no-no anyway. Exactly. It was a no-no in the movie. <laughs> exactly. It's a no-no in the movie. You feel me? But in the movie, for however long, you was that nigga. Until <laughs> it all went bad. You get what I'm saying? You was that nigga until everything went for bad, bro. So exactly. that's why, you know what I'm saying? That's why I was getting that with it. And of course, a lot of people got it, but it went over a lot of people's head. I ain't gonna lie. I knew you was gonna get it though. Of course, yeah. I knew you was gonna get it. Yeah, cause it was crazy. Cause people was hitting me like, "Yo, what's up with you and Herbo? Oh, I can't wait for you to try to respond. Yeah. Y'all I bet you won't say all that stuff, stuff you said to him and them to Herbo." Yeah, I, I said, I said, um, I had my homie coming back like, "Man, y'all so fucking dumb, man. Y'all ain't never seen love don't cost the thing, bro. You yeah. can't be cool, man." And that's cause I know you, my guy. So I know I wasn't yeah. and like you. We that's the funny thing. Like we've been on Wild and Out, and we join each other and go exactly. in. Like you made fun of me for shy. Rack and all that type of stuff. So, so I know how we, we real people. So yeah. when that happened, I I didn't think nothing of it. But for everybody that thought me and G Herbo had beef because he called Takashi Six not, Nine man. Nick Cannon, this is my brother right here, and I'm so proud when of this dude. When it's genuine, bro, you don't even gotta have a conversation till you have a conversation. You already know it's love, and that's how it all you know it's. There I it automatically was like that. Man, and, and I got nothing but love and respect and admiration. Sure and you still taking it to the top. Like I said, we, we killing it with that PTSD right now. The record is fire. I mean, tell me a little bit about that, man. Juice World, Chance the Rapper, and Lil Uzi on the same joint. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's really, it was a special song from the jump. Like, when I recorded it, I just recorded my verses. And I hawked Juice down, you know what I'm saying? Because that's, bro- that's my little brother, of course. Yeah. I, I'm with him every single day, you know, God bless his soul. And I was just hawking him down because I'm like, bro, you got to do this hook. I don't want nobody else to record this hook. You got to do this hook talking about PTSD. Like, you feel me? Because yeah. I wanted to really, I wanted the song to tell a story, bro. And it did. Well, I, I was able to capture my thoughts and my feelings on me dealing with my anxiety, my PTSD head on. Jews doing the same thing. Chance being from Chicago and him telling people, you know, speaking on his anxiety, his PTSD from a, a whole entirely different point of view from how he grew up, you know what I'm saying? And Uzi doing the same and all of us coming together genuinely because we fuck with each other, bro. That's hard to do, especially when you got artists of that caliber. All Every last one of those artists are much bigger artists than me. So for them to come together on my record 
no egos or anything just to fuck around, bro. It was crazy. And it was a special record. I wish my little brother was here to celebrate it with me. But man, it was and and the the, the most important thing about the record, bro, I hear all the time like it really helped people. You know what I'm saying? Like I be hearing people who not even really my fans yeah. who like the song. You know what I'm saying? That's love, man. And hey, it, it's a special record. I feel like it's one of them joints that's gonna go down in hip hop history. Yeah. Uh, and you, you know, we all we all don't get those. So salute to you for making that happen. And speaking bro, bro. of going down in history, and salute to you. It is that time. You my bro and all, but you see, I got the vest on. You know <laughs> so we gotta put you, know you in the firing squad. Rapid fire questions going in, and you can handle this. Like I said, you a street intellectual. Yeah, you know I can handle the pressure, man. Yeah, this is nothing for a boss like yourself. So we gonna start off with. A a philosophical question. It comes from uh, old school uh, Italian philosopher Nico Machiavelli. You know, not 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 okay. not, not Pac, but he was yeah. he, he was the Pac of his time, where he <laughs> said, "Yo, if you can't be loved, then you might as well be feared." So, as somebody, a real guy from it, yeah. love or fear, which one is uh, more important to G Herbo? Uh, to be honest, man, me being from the streets, the street dude, I would say. I would say fear, but mm. you got to have a, a little bit of both because fear could get you killed also quick. Yeah. If somebody fear you, they'll wake up wanting to really get you out the way. But you still got to have that factor. I know just being in the streets and just from experience in life, period, don't nobody really respect nothing but violence. So if they don't mm. feel like if they don't feel like they can't really hurt you or feel like they can't do nothing to you, they won't. You know what I'm saying? But if they feel like it's possible in any way, They'll work, they'll try the longest to make sure they're able to take you out your spot. Man. So I do believe you got to be able to instill fear in people as a man. That's, in that's where respect comes from. A lot of that is going on in the world right now, the civil yeah. unrest. Uh, even Not only in our own country, but all over the world, people are stepping that's up saying crazy. we want our rights. We and, and in order, we and <laughs> we going to fight for our rights. So Yeah, no, nah, that's crazy. One of my other favorite Machiavelli quotes is about the one with the lion and the fox, man. All right. Where they said, yeah. A lion can't protect itself from traps. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you got to be smart like a fox, and a fox can't protect itself from the wolves. So you got to be dangerous like a lion. You got to be both. Man, I told you this dude was a street intellectual right you gotta there. Be dope. <laughs> you got to be both, man. There it is. Now, speaking of fear, we got to go for it. I, we, we know you're a real one, but what's yeah. G Herbo's greatest fear? What you scared oh, of? Man. My greatest fear, really, to be honest, is is regret, man. I don't really like I don't like living in regret and mm. doing things that that I didn't do. Like I I think my biggest fear in life, cause I ain't gonna lie, I used to have a lot of fears when I was in the streets. I used to feel going to jail. I used to feel dying. I don't really feel those type of things no more. Like I don't leave the house, and of course I'm always aware of my surroundings. But I don't even, to be honest, I don't fear death or none of that shit no more. My biggest fear is really like regret, like yeah. not being able to really reach my goals in life, man. I ain't gonna lie. I, I spent a lot of time just really thinking about my next move and a lot of my movements, bro, my decisions that I make in the past and growing up all my life, it always been basically revolving around other people's opinions and how they feel and trying to make other people happy. And I think it kind of put me in a space where I, I was the most unhappiest. And I feel my biggest fear, bro, is just living the regret from like my whole motto now, bro, I just... As long as I, I always try to do the right thing, just me as a person, my morals gonna make me do the right thing. Yeah. But I don't really think too much about a decision. I don't really think about how it's gonna affect nobody because I don't make decisions that's gonna affect nobody negatively. But you know, you'll make a decision and be like, oh no, I don't wanna do this because this person might feel a way about it or this mm. and this. I don't do that no more because yep. I feel like every time I did that, I put myself in a position where I had to even compromise me being happy or compromise something that I wanted to do for myself. So my biggest regret, man, my biggest fear in life is not doing what I know I need to do or what's meant for me to do. There I can't, bro. That's in tune right there. That's a line. That's deep. We're going to lighten it up real quick. G Herbo's sure. favorite movie. Now, you already said Love Don't Cause a yeah. Thing was one yes. of them. but nah, nah, That's like... definitely one of my favorites for sure. <laughs> but my, my top favorite all time will probably have to be Goodfellas. Ooh, Scorsese. Good. 
Yeah, I ain't gonna, I don't know why I could watch that movie a million times over, bro. Yeah, that's a and real movie. with me and movies, every time I watch a movie, I learn something new about it. I notice something new about the movie every time. Nah, that's dope. Scorsese is definitely <laughs> my favorite director. So, yeah. I, Wolf of Wall Street is my favorite, but Goodfellas is probably like number two or three. I was just watching Wolf of Wall Street literally yesterday, bro. That's funny as that, shit. That's that joint right there. I was just watching right that movie there. yesterday, bro. All right, uh, G Herbo's best piece of advice you've ever received. Oh, man, my best piece of advice. Uh, somebody told me, man, you worry too much. Just trade all your fear for faith. Because every time that I worry, it's like I be stopping myself from really doing something. I worry too much about man. shit. And the best advice, I literally tell myself that all the time. When I think about shit, I be like, man, don't even trip. Turn it is what it is. Faith. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I seen, I seen like when watching The Last Dance, of course, that been going viral. Yeah. And Mike said, like, why would I worry about missing a shot that I didn't take? And that just applied to the exact same thing that I'm saying. You can't yeah. really live in fear, bro. It's just yeah. everything happened for a reason. So when you come across these obstacles and you feel afraid, you're not supposed to because it's going to be in front of you regardless, man. It's yeah. for real. And I ain't going to lie, that was the best piece of advice I probably ever received. And I tell myself that all the time. Like, Turn your fear I really be faith. praying, saying, trade all my fear in for faith, bro. And, and, and I ain't going to lie, that's how I move. There it is. Worst piece of advice G Herbo's ever received. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the worst piece of advice I ever got, man, probably was, I ain't even, it was probably to stay in the street. Uh, a lot of my, yeah, to stay in the street. Yeah. You know, I had a lot of advice, a lot of people close to me that wanted me to really, like, not remove myself from the streets and chase this rap shit. And that was one of the hardest decisions I ever made, bro. I tell people that. Well, and I'm I try to tell my ain't listen. as much as possible. Yeah. I didn't listen, man. Some told me, some in my heart told me, like, nah, And now, now look, you feeding the streets. Yourself, you gave man. back to your community because you walked and yeah. stepped out on your dream, man. That's a powerful thing. No, I, I walked by faith on that one, man. There it is. All right, now, G Herbo's greatest accomplishment. My greatest accomplishment, um... Like I, I, you know, I can't really say because I won't be living in the moments. But I think my greatest. You, accomplishment, as you sit there talking in a lime yeah, green Lambo. Look, look, <laughs> I, look now, that, see, this this ain't nothing right here. Uh, <laughs> it's like I got plenty of these. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. My greatest accomplishment, man, is really just being a father. So mm. I was gonna say that anyway yep. off the top. Yep. Just really me being a father, man, spending time with my son. Because I literally, I see so much of myself. And my son and I be gravitating to like it make me want to be a great father because I know how much he look up to me. Like my yeah. son adore me, bro. Like every little thing I do, he follow. I really gotta watch. Like you know how they say you gotta watch the door in front of your kids. Yeah, I definitely gotta watch what I do in front of my yeah, kids. He's like super I can't smart. put nothing. You see it. Yeah. I can't put nothing in a drawer in front of him. Like <laughs> yeah. anything like that. You know what I'm saying? It keep me sharp, bro. It just keep me on my toes because I ain't gonna lie. My dad was a great father, man. Yeah. So I learned from everything he did and didn't do. And it just made me be sharp. My greatest accomplishment, though, man, is is being a father to that little boy, though, for real. There it is. All right, we up. G Herbo's biggest mistake. My biggest mistake. Um, let me see. My biggest mistake was putting Nick Cannon name in a tweet. No, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was one of my biggest mistakes right there, man. Tweeting about my brother, but no, um. I think my biggest mistake was probably not following my first man, man. I got arrested with some guns mm. um, in 2018. Yeah. And that probably, that was, I would say that was one of my biggest mistakes because that was a big setback in my life. Yeah. And I wasn't listening to myself, man. I knew I was supposed to be moving much smarter. I was yeah. outside by yeah. myself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sweet guns and shit like that. So but like, like you said, that L stood for lesson right there. You yeah, learned from it. It definitely stood for lesson, man. And I ain't gonna lie, I make one mistake, but I can't make the same mistake twice. Don't do that. All right, now if you stranded on the island, you only can take three things. What are those three things you taking? Oh shit. Um, stranded on the island, you can only take three things. Uh, one of them gonna be a PS4, PS5. <laughs> now since they coming out. <laughs> yeah, yeah facts. The other, I'm gonna take my son. Yeah, and absolutely. the third, I don't really care about a cell phone, to be honest. <laughs> right. uh, Plus, you got the PS4. Really you can tell, yeah. communicate through that. I don't that. really give a shit about my cell phone. Yeah. I'm going to take a loaded refrigerator. That <laughs> <account>. <laughs> if, so you if, can if, eat. <laughs> if I can eat good, have a video game, my son, we chilling, man. I can, I can survive on the island. There it is. All right, G Herbo's favorite cuss word. My favorite cuss word is probably fuck, motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker, probably. There. I ain't gonna lie, that was that's my favorite family cuz where I could ask. I, I wish I could get my uncle on the phone right now. He said, 
he I got an uncle who's married, he's been married in my family for probably 35 years, bro. And he say the first word he ever heard when he came in my grandmother's house was motherfucker. And from then on, he never stopped hearing. He said that's the family cousin. That's right. what everybody like, say. Yeah, he say I was raised off motherfucker. That should be funny. I love it. I love it. All right, man, we got to do this. We do top five here. I wanted. I want you to give me the top five Chicago rappers. Top five greatest oh, Chicago yeah. rappers. Top five greatest Chicago rappers. Um, greatest. Oh, that's a good ass fucking question, man. And that's hard. And yeah. I'm going to give you my top five. Yeah, this is your I top five. It, ain't, ain't no this wrong my answer. Top five. And that, it's not even in order. Ye. Mm, Kanye. Yeah, Ye got to go top five for sure. Yeah. Um, Ye. It's another top five. I will have to give it to, I'm going to put, I got to put Chief Keith in there. Chief Keith. Ooh. Gotta put Sosa in there for what? For yep. everything so good. Yeah. Um This is this is a good top time. five already. Yeah. Chicago all rappers. Time coming out of Chicago, out of town rappers coming out of Chicago. Yeah. Juice World all the time coming out of Chicago. Mm. That's three. Juice World. Um, I'm Chief not Keith I'm not even proving myself, bro, because I really I'm so passionate about music for yeah. real. Um, That's love. You an honorable World. mention. <laughs> yeah. Four, I'm gonna have. I ain't gonna lie, my little brother got it. Polo G, Ooh. shorty going down in history. I wow, Polo fuck, G, I fuck with my little bro, I fuck with little bro, Polo. Uh, and now we gotta go OG. You went young boy. You gotta, gotta go OG. We gotta go OG. And look, and I was, I actually was gonna say him like second or third, but I'm just saying I gotta say Common, my big bro. Oh, I, gotta, I love it. I'm, I'm glad you Tommy. did that. That's my top five right there. Man, top five Chicago rappers from G Herbo yeah. right there. That's that's, that's heavy five, right there. Man. Uh, and that's, that's off impact that they had on me. You know nah, what I'm saying? But that's like, even, you put some real see. spitters in there. You put some yeah. numbers in there. Like, yeah, yeah. Them is, and you put real that's, guys in there. Like, that's. No, nah, that's my top five. People, I don't think people realize, like, how hard a lot of people is that came out of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I always say did. Chicago got, got the more, best rappers. I said, I'll I say that hands Twister, down. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Twister, yep. I ain't forget about Honorable Twister. Honorable mention. Definitely one of the top. Legendaries, man. This man right here in the car with me, he one of the greatest rappers to ever come out of Chicago right here, Mickey Halston. Oh, you know what I'm so, what's good, Mickey? What's good, family? I ain't gonna lie, Chicago got Yeah, Chicago chance, got it. We do, Polaroid, we do this all the time. The hardest to ever come out of Chicago. I really wanted to do a top 10 dirt, you feel me? Oh, dirt. Oh, yeah, he gonna the keep fact, going. The, yeah, the five that I named, man, that's a solid five, though. I love that, that five. Nah, and what I always say when, in top five when we do this, we do uh the top five cities, the top five cities. I definitely yeah. gotta go. Chicago got the best rappers. I'ma say, yeah. I, like when you think about New, everybody say New York. So if you're a fan, Chicago got a little bit of everything. They got yeah. the gangsterism of the West right Coast. On the head, bro. Yeah, they got the flow. Like the the yeah. best flow come from the Midwest. They got the lyrics of New York. They got the yeah, passion got the of conscious rappers. Of, all that best rappers come from Chicago. You are gonna get a little bit of everything. And that's what I was basically telling people because it's like my style. I grew up listening to real hip hop, New York rappers. You know what I'm saying? I grew yeah. up listening to Wayne when he was on the Can't Feel My Face shit with Jewels and yeah. all of the Squad Up mixtapes and Drought Threes and shit like that. So I grew up on kind of that kind of style if you was to base my style if you had to put me in a style you would box me kind of like in the new york hip-hop east coast midwest style yeah, so man. well you, you got rappers like that and yep. then you got the rappers who influence you know what i'm saying by the atlanta moguls and yep. shit like that you know so you definitely get a little bit of everything bro and man, that's crazy well, you notice that because i say that all the time yep. like it's not really a shit you can't really say, oh yeah, Chicago. We don't have a style. You know what nah, I'm saying? Nah, y'all, y'all, y'all like the the Thanos of hip hop, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all collect all the stones yeah. up there, and man, you are in the class of your own. Again, I salute you, and we always in the fire yeah, squad this way. When it's all said and done, you're clearly creating a you legacy. You got to tell me what's gonna be the one word that best describes G Herbo. Uh, the one word that best describes me. Um, I think it'll be, um, I don't know. It's like, I'm kind of, 
I'm kind of unpredictable a little bit, to be honest. There like, it is. <laughs> yeah, unpredictable because you you and honest for sure. That's what makes say makes say honest. I'm definitely honest with myself, man, and everybody around me. Probably a little too honest. Next. Um, it'll definitely be unpredictable and honest. And I was gonna probably say like uh, I don't know one word, entrepreneur, because I kind of set myself in, in positions to to not really have to depend on anything or anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm glad I always been around the solid people, my team that I got. You know, making yeah. JB and everybody that ever helped me throughout this journey, bro. Because I, I made all the mistakes and was able to come back from. Them. And with that, you know, if you got a solid team. When you make these mistakes, the people who they'll really for you, they go through the tough times with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I ain't really had that, I think I'll be in a, a, a way, a much different position right now, you know? So all that got to go accounted for when you talk about my legacy in any way. Man, there you have it. Well said. This has been an honest conversation with a real sure, one. Man. My God. I can't wait to link with you, man. I'm in L.A. We got to get up, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We definitely going to yeah. do it. This is the unpredictable, <laughs> the entrepreneur, <Yeah. laughs> the MC, G Herbo, man. Get that PTSD now. It's going yes, up sir. on Nick Cannon Radio.